The first thing that people see when they get to your type form is the welcome screen. And I want to show you how you can use this in type form to both set the mood, the atmosphere and provide really a compelling invitation in addition to providing some basic information about your form. So let's take a look at a few possible welcome screens and some of the options that are available to you. When you log into your account, you'll come to here and I'm going to choose a new template. But first, I'm going to make the screen a little bigger by getting rid of this announcement bar and by moving to full screen. But just come over to type form here. And we'll go to the templates. Now there are a lot of different ways of doing the welcome screen. The registration form has pretty much the simplest one of all. I'll click on that. And all we have here is a word hello, and start to press enter. Now, this actually is a tiny bit more sophisticated than it looks because that hello is not text it's an image. And I'm going to show you how that works by coming down here to use this template, I'll click on that. And then we get the framework for it all, I'm going to come up to this green at the top, which is the welcome screen. And that's what this little icon right here means that's where people are coming into your form. I'm going to click on that, and you see there's no text there. That's because there's no descriptive text on the welcome screen. Let me click it. And what you see here is that we have an image, you know, it's an image because it says image, and it's called welcome dash one dot ping. And so there is a file there, you know, we have the option of turning off the image, and then you see there's really nothing there at all. There's no explanatory text or descriptive text. There is a button that simply says start and though this is about as basic as you can get it's a very pleasing arrangement the blue on the white with a few different shades of blue. And I'll come back to this one later and show you a couple of things we can do to change it around if you want. But for right now, I'm going to close this. Then I'm going to come back to the templates. So I'll just click on the back arrow here to get to my workspace and click on the new type forms and use template again. And I want to show you a few other options available for the welcome screen. Now, the customer satisfaction survey right here, I think is a nice example of simple design, I'm going to click on that one. And there's really nothing special going on in this one, it has an image there that is outlined, it's a PNG file with transparency. So you can see the texture behind it. It's very simple to set up. But the texture that's there, which is a image file that's, you know, repeating through, actually works really nicely with this, it gives it a little bit more of a feel than just something plain and boring. The colors work together well, and it feels inviting. You see also that they changed the button from start to take survey, and you can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to take a look at another one here. And that is the branding questionnaire that's right next to it. And what's interesting about this one is the images that go into it. Now they put a dark overlay on the main image. And then that makes the white text pop out. The start button is also transparent. But the images really get the focus on those. And it's inviting and it feels fun. We're going to scroll down a little bit more. And I want to say the contact form here. Now this one's a little unusual, and that it also has an image, but this time it's a GIF. It's an animated GIF. And you'll see this one actually loops around, it's going to do its little bouncy thing there again. And then they changed it to pop me a question, put a little icon in there. And again, it feels more conversational, and it's more inviting. If we scroll down a little further to customer feedback, we'll have another GIF, but this one only goes once. And so it just kind of pops up. And it's really attention grabbing It also has a very subtle background. And then it says give feedback. And this is something that I would actually probably click on. We can go down a little further to the demographic survey where we have another animated GIF. And again, all it's showing us is a survey. So it's really sort of, you know, a meta image It's self referential. But it's really clear what's going on. And it's inviting. Next, I'm going to come down a little further to lead generation. Now this one does have images, it's got a neat background here. But what I really like here, and this is something that you can do with these welcome screens, it's not so much the images, which are nice, 
but it's the text here. And this is really what's considered a compelling call to action. It's a very inviting thing. Discover what we can do for you. We do these services, we deliver, and that says, show me. And it's, it's so inviting and it doesn't feel like something that's going to beat you over the head and try to get, you know, your income brackets or anything like that. And so this is a compelling call to action. And this is one of the really nice things about Typeform is it can be made to be so much more inviting and personal. And this is a great example of that. I'm going to come down to one more here. To the trivia quiz which also has what I think is a nice call to action. We have these various icons as bright colors and it says, you know, you're trying to show how much you know about something and it, it feels school-like, it feels childlike and it feels really inviting and I like this, let's begin, shall we? Again, this is a way of being much more personal than you might get with some sort of generic form that feels like you're doing your taxes. Now, I wanna go back and show you one other thing. Let me come back here to my workspace in forms. And I'm going to open up the registration form template that we had earlier. There are a couple of things that you can do here that are important in the welcome screen. I'm going to click on that one up here again. Now the default here, remember, it has this image that says hello, and it's a PNG file, and that's good. But you have another option right here, and that is video. I'm going to click on that one. And you are allowed to add videos from either YouTube or Vimeo, and you just put in the URL. So I've got one right here. I'm going to paste in the URL. And this is, in a very self-referential way, another one of our videos here on Data Lab. I chose a blue one because it goes with the existing blue. And you have a couple of options. Obviously, you can change the video size. You can make it smaller, or you can make it a lot bigger. And there's kind of huge there. So the video there, and you can add some descriptive text. So I'm going to actually turn this on and put in here. Let's see what you learned in our an introduction. And I'll make that bold. And so there's something there and I'm going to come down. And I'll put, let's get started. And so great, now I've got one. I've taken a very basic template. I've thrown in a video and it, it does play. If you click on it, it's gonna play the video. It's, of course, the thing goes away and now you just get to hear one a video of me talking in the back. Sorry, that was a little weird hearing me talking over myself. But now you have a video, you can put something really short in there, really catchy, maybe a quick promo thing, or something to remind people about what's happened and then ask them questions. But this is one way that you can use a welcome screen to pull people in and get them engaged with your content and really provide something that's enjoyable and informative for them.